Super Duty's configured. The question is, how do you want your new Ford Super Duty configured? Hey, during the Ford Summer Sales Event, we're knocking ourselves out to make it happen for you the way you want it. Over 130 Super Duties in stock. F2, 3, 4, and 550s. Ready to go to work for you and with you. Gas or diesel, flatbed, standard bed, service bodies, cab and chassis. Whatever you want. But wait, if you're thinking F-150, we have over 200 to choose from. With 0% for 72 months Ford financing. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Save, baby, save at Woody Folsom Ford. Better get it back to you and ask about that free lifetime powertrain warranty. Good as long as you on the vehicle. Bring him on and him let's all have a good time. <laughs> Woody Folsom Ford Baxley, where we'll figure out the configuration you want. Yay! Celebrating 50 years as the sports leader in Southeast Georgia. W-I-F-O-F-M, I'm Karen McHugh. Some neighbors of the UAE are angered over that country's peace deal with Israel. Iran accusing the United Arab Emirates of striking a dagger in the backs of all Muslims as the UAE becomes the first Gulf Arab country to recognize Israel, establishing full diplomatic relations in an agreement brokered by President Trump. Turkey is also lashing out, saying history will never forgive this hypocrisy. Fox's Simon Owen. A new Fox poll shows that while 55% of those surveyed say they'll get a coronavirus vaccine if and when it becomes available, but a surprising 26% say they won't. The director of the NIH finds that discouraging. I'm disheartened to see how many people at that point still say, maybe I don't want this vaccine. This is our best hope to be able to get back to something approaching normal. Dr. Francis Collins. America is listening to Fox News. From the Fox News Podcasts Network, stay on top of the latest news and information from Fox News. Listen and download the Fox News Hourly Update on your time. The trending stories you need anytime you want it. Listen and download now by going to foxnewspodcasts.com. There's never been a more critical time. Fox News Media is bringing America together. America is watching news and fearless debate on Fox News Channel. We're invested in you from Wall Street to Main Street to your street with Fox Business. America is listening wherever you are on radio and podcasts. Trending the stories you need anytime you want online. And Fox Nation streaming the entertainment that celebrates America. Fox News Media, America's News, and much more. The Fox News Rundown is a weekday morning podcast that dives deep into the major and controversial stories of the day. Hosted by the anchors of Fox News Radio. Subscribe now to hear a perspective of news you won't find anywhere else. Listen now by going to foxnewspodcasts.com. Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. Damon's Famous Fingers and Wings Restaurant in Jessup is now open for business, practicing social distancing, but still serving that great food that Damon's is famous for. Come inside or come to the drive through but Damon's is open inside and welcomes back its customers. The menu's the same, the service is fast, and the food is fantastic, and the sauces remain the same, mild, wild, insane, or inferno. The number is the same, 588-WING, 588-9464. Damon's Restaurant on West Cherry Street in Jessup, dining room now open for business. Come on in and enjoy a great meal today. A bank that puts people first. First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. Serving Jessup, Patterson, and Waycross. A true community bank led by experienced neighborhood bankers that live and work in our community. Offering competitive loan options for commercial and consumer clients. Stop by the Jessup branch and meet branch manager Mandy Yeomans and her fantastic team. Call 912-810-1540. Let First Southern Bank be your bank of choice. First Southern Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. 756 here at the Big Dog, WIFO AFM, Jessup on this Friday morning, 14th day of August. Time for the world-famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by Murphy Builder Supply, First Southern Bank, and Damon's Famous Fingers and Wings. That's you, Bob. Oh, you already played that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs>
We're good to go. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. i got to wake up here. Special guest in the studio is with us. The winner of the Republican runoff for sheriff on Tuesday night, Chuck Mosley. Had talked to him Tuesday night, and he was pretty excited, and he's still excited as of today. So, first of all, congratulations on winning this runoff. I'm telling you, thank you, Bob. Praise God. I'm I'm happy every day that I wake up, but I was shocked Tuesday night, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's what I told people. They said, How, what was his reaction? I said, I think he was as surprised as a lot of people. But like I said, it's a hard fault. It's hard to beat an incumbent sheriff and uh, four people in the race at the at the start of it. And you got into the runoff, and then it was a hard fought campaign up to the Tuesday night. But the results are in, and you're the winner. So how's it feel to know that you're just months away from taking over as being the Wayne County Sheriff, something you dreamed about? Being? Yes, yes. It, but but it's kind of like a, I just heard a fellow say not long ago, I've caught the car, now what do I do with it? But I'm prepared. All my years of experience, I, I can make it happen, and I'm I'm sure. Um, you know, the whole time I've been worried about the employees at the sheriff's office because they're in a spot, and I was for a while in Pierce County, of, of them not knowing what will happen. And um, I'd like to take this opportunity to just tell them, don't worry, be happy. Nobody's going to get fired. And uh, I, like I've said before, that uh, that's not in my heart, and I hope all of them will stay because I'll need them all. There's people up there that, that are crucial to the running of it, and um, I, I just I just want them to know they don't need to worry about being fired. Just wonder, has it set in yet? You know, like I said, has, has I'm, yet? Still, I'm still so in the days. So you've been getting a lot of text messages, a lot of phone calls. So. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I, the the day after the election, I got woke up before daylight. And I thank the Lord whenever I got off the phone for that phone call. And then later that evening, at about 6 o'clock, I counted, and I'd had 102 phone calls. And the night of the election, um, at one time I'd missed 17 calls and 121 text messages. So I stayed up about all night answering text messages. But it's been good. That's what I asked for. And uh, I love it. Like I told you yesterday, uh, you won't meet anybody now that said they didn't vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, my cousin Dilma called me. He said, "Son, they miscounted." Said you, everybody voted for you, but but I'm I'm proud of the ones that did turn out to vote, and I appreciate everybody, and I want to be everybody's sheriff, regardless of whether they voted for me or not. Um, regardless of whether they posted anything on Facebook ugly about me or not, I want to be their share. Well, again, you got several months. You still have to win the race in November, but, you know, that seems to be a foregone conclusion. I mean, uh, Democratic candidates is going to be hard to win in November with the presidential race, Trump on the ballot. So you know, Wayne County is basically a Republican county the last 10, 12 years. So, uh, you know, it's just a formality of winning that race in November. But uh, your thought, you know, what do you do between now and November? Are you laying out your strategy or your game plan or what, you know, what, what do you want to bring to the sheriff's department that you, know, you don't think it's there currently. You well, know, that's that, why you ran. You went ran for a change. So, yeah. I, mean, I thought, what was your catchphrase last time you were here? <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> yeah, vote Chuck for change. change. Yeah, vote Chuck for Bless change. Bless that idea. But, but no, I've I've actually had some of the community leaders reach out to me and and spoke to them and uh, and uh, a couple of the county commissioners and um, I look forward to trying to work with them to do things to to tweak. I mean, the sheriff's office is running, especially the last little while. You you, you can see they're they're working, and uh, there may be some tweaking. And I think sometimes nothing against nothing against John Carter. He, I think he done a good job over. I mean, I'm telling you, and but sometimes you can get complacent. I think just a change in leadership will do things, and um, I look forward to getting there and just just making some tweaks. And like I heard another fellow say one time, you know, sometimes the ship you just need to change position some. But um, I appreciate the job they're doing, and yeah. I want them to know that. Like it's I not said. just the office, though. It's the jail. It's the court system. Yes. There's a lot. There's a lot involved in the sheriff's department. There so is a lot there of people is. employed. So headaches galore, and uh, and that's that's what that's what. Somebody said, "said Be careful what you ask for." Well, 
but but I've seen it done, and uh, and it is. It's always that sheriff's officer wants you to fix everything from the crack of dawn to a broken heart, and all you can do is try, and be honest with the people whenever they come to you and, and ask you, and and uh, and and especially be there whenever they need somebody, whenever they want to talk to somebody about a problem. You've got to be the man to to hear it, and I will. If you just join us, uh, Chuck Mosley in the studio with us again, won the Republican runoff Tuesday night for sheriff. Uh, take us through Tuesday night. Like I said, I interviewed you at the courthouse. Is uh, anybody else? But uh, yes. what happened after that? Where'd you go? What, what? A couple of days. Well, we we you know, and of course I. I'd about come to peace that I, I I was planning a an interview saying that it was a good race and but um and I was shocked but we were standing around talking just like just like family uh, John Marsha all of us in that room and their family and and his his sweet youngins they were sweet to me too and uh, I'd stepped outside and whenever I stepped outside. My wife come out with a piece of paper and handed it to me, and I looked at it and was shocked. And then Mike Hargrove looked at it, and he said, you won. I said, oh, Lord. Then my daughter started crying, and I fogged up, and it was it was a blur from there. <laughs> but uh, then afterwards, we went to my sister's house, and uh, everybody was there, and all my poll workers, uh, well, not all of them, but there was a good crowd there, and it it was just an emotional night. It's a hard campaign, you know. You know that's why I get frustrated when only twenty six percent of the people show up to vote because the candidates are out there working hard, you know, pounding the pavement, making calls, mm-hmm. having meet and greets. Uh, that's one thing you had a lot of. You know, had a lot of meet and greets. Uh, a lot of you know, you definitely got out, and worked hard for it. Uh, the question everybody keeps asking is, who was flying the plane on the Saturdays with the banner. That's, that's the, that's the 64,000 dollars question. I said, I don't know. I, I've asked him, but I haven't gotten an answer the, yet. The, the, the first pilot was named Brian, and the second was named Ian, but but there was a fella from Jacksonville that that one of my acquaintances knew and, and hooked me up with him, and whenever they mentioned it, you know, I, I said, Lord, that's, a, that's kind of expensive. But, uh, but I tell you, after it flew the first time, it was worth every penny because it it lit up the world and 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 I did it the Saturday before the election, hoping to create a little buzz for election day and uh God blessed me, I guess I'm telling you because it it uh I think it made a difference as I mentioned to you, you know the people that helped John and people helped you at the polls that day I mean it's a hot day, yes, you know I know they got tents there, but I mean it's a yeah. long day starting from seven o'clock in the morning to seven o'clock at night, waving everybody you know encouraging people to go to the polls well, so so you, you got to have that good uh, support and of course in Mosley's is hard headed you know I told them not to stay there until they fail but but I had some other people, and I told them I said y'all that's supposed to be the heat index supposed to be hundred and five today. Don't don't hurt yourself. Uh-huh. If if it gets hot, go ahead and go home. But you you mentioned the meet and greets with this coronavirus. I I had plans of going to all of the all of the registered voters' house and um but because of that I, I couldn't. So I'd done those little things and advertised them. Uh and Lord, Lord have mercy. But we uh I set up those little meet and greets just to go out to different areas in the county, hoping people would come out and stop and speak. And mm-hmm. and I'd done all of those, and then I went to Ray and Ear and sit and just, just in my mind, put myself available to the people. I even set up town. They, I had several stop and say, what are you selling? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I said, no, just giving away drinks and begging for votes. And uh, But... I, I think people recognize that I was I was wanting a job. Yeah. Well, it's interesting following the campaign. Like I said, we had you in here several times. You know, if we when you first ran, you, you made the comment that you planned to put Mike Hargrove in as your chief deputy, and then you got some backlash of that. You came in and said you thought that might have been a mistake to announce that, but you know, he was there with you Tuesday night, so I guess that plan is still in place. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And 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 I'm telling you, my 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 thing in saying it was a mistake. Is I should have never made that a part of the race, and and I caused 
I caused him and his family to to be attacked some, and and I could have stopped all that from being even in the discussion by not mentioning it. And uh, but but I, I I feel I feel strongly that the sheriff coming in, his second man should be one that he chooses. His predecessor shouldn't shouldn't decide who that is. And and like I've said before, and and I've told. I actually seen Don Ray one day and told him he he don't have to worry about losing his job. And there'll be people that'll be upset that he'll be making his salary, but that's only fair to him. And uh, and it's not in my heart to hurt anybody. I I ran for sheriff because I want to be a servant of the citizens. In 1995, I got shot, and God let me live through it. And uh, He left me here for some reason, and. And of course, I was saved before then, but since then, I've been living on borrowed money, and uh, and my experiences, I think, are to try to help other people. Well, again, you got from now to November to campaign again, uh, you know. But after that, you know, you should be able to get ready to get your staff in place and get on board. And so, you know, we asked you. When you ran, there's some of the ideas you had for, you know, what you would bring to the table. So just, uh, you know, you talked about the overtime. You were concerned about that. Um, you know, you got to work on the budget. You know, you said you've been pretty familiar with that. So there's a lot involved in being the sheriff. Yes, it's sir. not just showing up and – That's, a, that's I mean, exactly right. There's, yeah, a lot, being, there's a lot of work. Uh, being popular won't <laughs> give it. But but I've, I've actually reached out and I've, I've spoken, like I said, to some of the community leaders, and, um, and I'm starting to – to talk to them about meeting and addressing things that we plan to do. And uh, I can tell you with a certainty, there'll be a, a countywide drug unit again. Um, and and I, the people I've talked to, and, I, and I've spoke to some of the county guys too, are looking forward to it. I think that unity will do so much for this county and, and – um, like I say, that's that's uh whenever you, whenever you don't have to worry about the boundaries, whenever you chasing a man that's got dope in his pocket, it's a wonderful thing. You've been in law enforcement a long time. I'm just curious. You know, we keep getting these press releases from the sheriff's department and the police department on these drug arrests, and heroin seems to be the drug that's just popping up everywhere. I mean, they had yes. some overdoses. Uh, they just arrested this lady uh, by the just police department. Uh, what's going on with why is heroin coming back so strong? I, I, and 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 it's amazing because it's generally expensive. And and meth was the was the rave for so long because it was cheap, and and of course I've since February I hadn't worked in law enforcement so I'm not up but but there must be a pipeline somewhere that's bringing it so it can be be bought yeah. fairly cheaply as compared to meth anyway. It's dangerous because like I said yes. you got all these people taking it and, and overdosing on yes. it. So I mean so something to be aware of here but that's the right. last couple of press release we've gotten i mean that's basically the drug that they're, they're charging these people with possession of heroin and things like that so and, and they're doing those narcan classes they I've, I've heard of a couple they've had recently because that narcan is one thing of an overdose of opioids that'll save a life uh the first responders are are getting that training and whenever they get the training they get one of the kits to save a life but it is that Heroin is, and and you know you've heard about it in New England, Massachusetts, Vermont. You've heard you've heard they've been having a problem with it, but it's it's coming back to wane. Have you had any time to relax at all, or has it been a whirlwind since Tuesday? I can tell you this: I have slept a lot better. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I, um, before before the election, I tell y'all, it, it um. Just my mind was always steady going. And of course, now I've relaxed too much. I still hadn't got an ad to, but, but uh, I have. I've, I've relaxed some, but, but now, Mister Johnson, I'm I'm going to run against him too. I'm going to just take a little break and try to make contacts with with, you know, the the leaders of the community and, and try to have something lined up for if I'm blessed enough to win that election. But. Um, it's been good. It's been good to be able to just answer the phone and talk to people and, and cut up. 
this being well, the one the one nice story is like, this is something you dreamt about and i said it's something you yes. wanted for a long time i said you thought about running four years ago but john was going to run so you didn't run but you ran this time and yes. i said it would said from the get-go it was tough to be the man who's been there 12 years seeking another term but uh you pulled it off and uh so the dreams come true yes sir Praise God. I'm telling you, it, it's been a miracle. The whole, I've done everything I could do to mess it up, and my God carried it on through. I'm, I'm telling you, I, like I told you that night, I believe it was a miracle to get in the runoff, especially with, with the guys that were running against us, uh, both of them good men. And then for it to turn out like it has, it's I'm counting it a miracle. And there might be some sitting at home eating Cheetos and said he's a fool, but God is real. Well, again, we appreciate you coming in. I said congratulations once again. We'll look forward to the race in November. And then uh, I said uh, I think you're several months away from becoming the Wayne County Sheriff and taking on that task. Lord like Lord I said, it's a, it's a big job. It's a, yes, it's a it is. Of... I've caught the car. Now I just got to go around with the wheel. There you go. Well, again, <laughs> appreciate you coming in. And again, congratulations. We'll be back Thank with you. more of the show right after this. Murphy's Builder Supply is where you need to go for all your home improvement projects and hardware needs. They've been serving folks in this area since 1946. Murphy's offers some products and services that you may not know about. They now sell ammunition, both bullets and shells. Murphy's also sells personalized tags for dog collars. They build customized screens for windows and doors. Murphy's can rekey locks, and of course they can make keys. They cut glass for windows, plus Murphy's has monthly door buster specials. Check their Facebook page to see what's on sale. Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. Damon's Famous Fingers and Wings Restaurant in Jessup is now open for business, practicing social distancing, but still serving that great food that Damon's is famous for. Come inside or come through the drive through but Damon's is open inside and welcomes back its customers. The menu's the same, the service is fast, and the food is fantastic, and the sauces remain the same, mild, wild, insane, or inferno. The number is the same, 588-WING, 588-9464. Damon's Restaurant on West Cherry Street in Jessup, dining room now open for business. Come on in and enjoy a great meal today. A bank that puts people first. First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. Serving Jessup, Patterson, and Waycross. A true community bank led by experienced neighborhood bankers that live and work in our community. Offering competitive loan options for commercial and consumer clients. Stop by the Jessup branch and meet branch manager Mandy Yeomans and her fantastic team. Call 912-810-1540. Let First Southern Bank be your bank of choice. First Southern Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. WIFOFM, Big Dog Country at 814, Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by Murphy Builder Supply, Damon's Famous Fingers and Wings at First Southern Bank. I just want to remind people next week that the big story will take place on Tuesday at 6 p.m. as the Wayne County Board of Education still has not made a final call on when and how schools are open. Again, they had voted earlier to start August 24th, but all that went up in smoke on Tuesday at their meeting as they decide to have another meeting this coming Tuesday and they're discussing three options. One is to stay the course and go August 24th. A second option is to push it back after Labor Day, September 8th. And a third option is to possibly go all virtual with everybody, everybody in Wayne County doing virtual learning. So, again, those are the three things that they're discussing. Again, they voted to have a meeting this coming Tuesday to make a final call on how and when schools will open in Wayne County. So that will be the big story next week, but that meeting is set for next Tuesday 6 p.m. at the Tech Center, WIFO FM will be on hand. Have a full report for you on Wednesday. But, again, right now, no final decision on when and how schools will open has been made here in Wayne County, despite the fact they voted a couple weeks ago to start on August 24th. But, again, that went haywire on this meeting this past Tuesday. So we'll wait and see how it all plays out this coming Tuesday. But, um, again, hopefully kids and students and teachers will know the final results on Tuesday at 6 p.m., but it'll be an interesting meeting, see how many people attend the meeting. And they're trying to do social distancing at the meeting. They've already sent out the press release for the call meeting on Tuesday at 6 p.m., but that's when the decision will be made. So we'll follow it closely, have the results for you on Wednesday of next week here on the local news. Again, just want to have let everybody have a safe and happy weekend. And, again, appreciate our guest this week. It was a nice interview yesterday with Buddy Carter for 30 minutes. Appreciate him taking time to give us his 30 minutes. Nice to have Chuck Mosley in today. Reggie Birch was here this week with the school system. So also a reminder, the open houses are set for 
next Thursday at 3 p.m. Again, they were originally scheduled this past Thursday, but that was pushed back as well. So it's going to be a busy week next week uh, as far as the school system is concerned. And I say we'll follow it closely and have the results for you on Wednesday of next week. Again, have a great weekend. Stay safe and appreciate you tuning in. World Famous Butch and Bob Show on WIFO brought to you by Murphy Builder Supply, First Southern Bank, and Damon's Famous Fingers and Wings. Good morning from the Big Dog WIFO at 817.